Well, welcome back guys. We did the watermelons last week. We're doing cantaloupe this week. Uh, one of our my gardening friends uh, was uh, a little bit disappointed I hadn't planted any uh, Petit Rene, I think. So I did, I did plant some last Friday. Um, right now I'm going to plant out uh, some more Petit Gris Rene. I had great success with that last year. I thought I had <coughs> better success with the um, Noir de Calm, but I didn't. The Noir de Calm was, uh, I don't know what happened, but uh, frost and everything. We had a really crappy spring. Kind of like what we're having right now, but I've got better plans. I started a little bit later just in case this would happen again, and it did. And I got the greenhouses all ready to go. And uh, these greenhouses will take like a day, like today is like one degree. It'll bring the temperatures up here to 25 degrees as long as you got sun. As soon as that sun goes away, you're done. So I'm going to put some seeds in here. Just give me a minute. I'm going to do the Petit Gris Rene. I'm going to put in two more uh, things. And then I'm going to do Far North, which is a variety of cantaloupe. I'll tell you about the Far North. 1936 it was developed after crossbreeding some different types of cantaloupe. And it was uh, done on the experimental farm in, I think, Indian Head, Saskatchewan. Okay, and uh, it was named Far North in 1936. Okay, and it's a hardy uh, variety of uh, cantaloupe for the north, obviously, for our north. Um, it's a 60 to 70 day variety. Uh, it's about one pound in size. And uh, it's a nickname, I call it the lunchbox uh, cantaloupe, because you can literally just put it in your lunchbox without worrying about it. Dig it to work, cut it in half with a regular old plastic kitchen knife even, and uh, scrape out the seeds and then make a spoon there and just yum. And it's not a bad flavor. I, if you let it go long enough, it's just as good as anything you get, like a Minnesota midget or anything like that. But the key is to let it ripen, because if you don't, it takes a little bit longer. Okay, one minute please. Okay guys, I'm back. You can see, I put the Petit Gris Rene. Okay, and I got the correct seed, of course. You have to be careful you don't mix this all up, right? Because I got two varieties of seed here. And there it is, that's the, uh, that's the uh, one I planted. And that one was a very nice water uh, cantaloupe, I should say. This uh, is, uh, I think, a 90 day, but uh, I, I had them in the middle of August guys so for what it tells you so there's your far north I'm just gonna just I'm not I only put them in maybe a quarter of an inch deep I don't want to I don't want to give them a funeral I want to plant them right <laughs> so I'm not gonna just shove that in a little bit more a little bit more soil there and you can see that's all that's all done likewise with these guys sorry my big fat hand there we go so there's that's that and those are planted and I'm gonna do the same thing with the far north um, Just give me a minute guys Okay, I'm back guys and you can see I planted the far north And I'm kind of excited about this. I haven't been really serious about the far north cantaloupe um, I'd like to Get a cantaloupe in July. Uh, I planted these one time in May right straight in the ground May 4th and believe it or not, it is not kidding you, I had uh, a beautiful lunchbox cantaloupe from these and it was nice and ripe and everything on July the 4th. So that was exactly 60 days, almost 62 days or something like that. Outrageously crazy, 61 days. So there you go, that's all done. And then the next thing here is they, they're going in here, guys, because it's a lot warmer in there for one thing. So uh, just give me a minute. Okay, well, I'm not really set up for them inside, so I'm going to put them in here for now. Far north. Far north. Far north. So we got four far norths. I have two more started. They're out there already. And, well, actually, they're on the mat. These are going on the mat again tonight. Well, they will be for the first time tonight. But there it is, guys. And then I'm going to put the lid here. And that's going to raise the temperature because the outdoor temperature here is like crazily cold. And then I'm just going to take them and put them out there. Uh, put something on them so they don't blow away because we got winds of 50 kilometers an hour. Wind gusts up to 52 today. Hard to believe it's spring here in Ontario. Anyway, this has been your cantaloupe uh, planting out video. 
uh, for 2020. And so what you want to know so far, what I've got is I got four uh, Petit Gris Renes and I have four Far Norths. Um, am I going to try uh, Noir de Calme again this year? And maybe a Minnesota Midget. Minnesota Midget is an excellent variety. I'm not going to bother growing Minnesota Midget. Simply because uh, it is, uh, I did it last year. It's a wonderful cantaloupe. I want to see how the far north does. This is a Canadian cantaloupe, guys. This is all developed in Saskatchewan. Now, the uh, Petit Gris Rene, obviously, that one's from France. And that's the fancy people down there. But whatever. I, it's a really good melon. They say it goes to be about two pounds. I had a couple last year, about three, four pounds. Uh, I was lucky, um, but we'll see how it turns out this year. There's no guarantees from one year to the next, and that's what makes gardening excited. Exciting, I should say. <laughs> so Moon's over here by the flowers. I get snowdrops over here. So I thought I'd part by saying goodbye, everybody, and gracias amigos, and thank you for watching my cantaloupe video. Good luck to you and your garden this year, guys.